We all know about the importance of the eye contact during job interview. And you would be absolutely correct in thinking that eye contact can work for you or against you. Let's take a look at the key eye contact golden rules that you might consider using during the job interview. Rule number one is to establish eye contact with hiring manager right away before you even begin talking you need to maintain eye contact 50% of the time when speaking and 70% time when listening. Once you establish eye contact, you need to maintain it for four to five seconds. And after maintaining it for this period of time, you need to glance slowly to the side and then reestablish your eye contact. There are a little bit different rules for the eye contact with the interview panel when multiple people are interviewing you. When addressing multiple people as part of the panel during the job interview, you need to establish eye contact with one person at a time using the golden rules and best practices. And then switch and do the same thing for the next person. The most important thing to improve your eye contact is practice. You can practice in front of the mirror or you can record yourself on the camera until you become confident. In addition to helping the candidate, eye contact can also work against the candidate. There are key important eye contact stereotypes and perceptions that might alert hiring manager, and you should try to avoid them. So for example, if increased eye contact is associated with credibility and rapport, lack of eye contact and blinking is interpreted as passive and submissive during the job interview. Another important consideration is that staring at someone communicates hostility. And now let's take a look at some specific examples of using eye contact during the job interview. In the first example, we see candidate that is sitting directly across the single interviewer. Candidate speaks slowly, thinks before sharing information, projects confidence, and maintains eye contact about 50% of the time. When she doesn't maintain eye contact, she slowly moves her eyes and looks at something else, which is in the very near proximity. In example two, when candidate is positioned side by side with the interviewer to establish eye contact, candidate may need to turn their head to establish and maintain eye contact. If the hiring manager references something from the paper resume or cover letter, candidate may need to look at the document as well. When in this setup, it is important to maintain eye contact to demonstrate interest, show engagement, and better assess the dynamic of the interview. In example three, candidate maintains eye contact with two people as part of the panel job interview. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, please give us a like and consider subscribing. Thanks for all your endorsement, support, and patronage. For additional helpful information, please make sure to check out links in the description. For detailed list of available resources, I encourage you to check out resources page on our website howtoanalyzedata.net slash resources. If you know someone who would benefit from this content, please consider sharing the link. Please leave the feedback, corrections, or suggestions in comments. And all the best on your journey. I'll see you in my next video.